Welcome back everyone, you're watching All The Being No Idea, I'm Baz and uh, we've got a first I believe, uh, certainly on YouTube, not just the beer but uh, actually the brewery as well and what we've got coming up is a beer that I picked up while I was in Western Supermare and it's not from a microbrewery, it's from a nano brewery uh, and it's from Pinkus Craft Brewery and this is a bottle of their Cabin Fever Dark Ale coming in at 4.5%, 500 ml bottle was three pound. And just a little bit of quick information now. Uh, this brewery started up, literally they just got their license just before lockdown kicked in. Uh, and it's just, like I say, it's a nano brewery. It's the husband and the wife. The bloke does the brewing from grain to glass. The wife deals with all the social media. They don't have an online shop. They don't sell online as such. Uh, you have to contact them. Uh, I think you have to private message them through the Facebook page and they'll request an amount depending on what beer you want. You pay like that and you either go and collect or if you're local to Western Supermare they'll deliver. So uh, I don't know if you'll be able to order to have it sent wherever you would have to contact them. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to this. As I said, Pinker's Craft Brewery, Cabin Fever Dark Ale coming in at 4.5%, 500ml bottle, £3 a bottle. Uh, it says actually underneath the cabin fever, you can tell this is all sort of like COVID uh, inspired. Cabin fever because staying in is the new going out. Uh, dark Ale brewed with Magnum and Cascade hops. Love the branding. There we go. The pink and that. Simon Pink, uh, Scott Pinkley, I believe his name is. Uh, could be wrong, but if you do see this, Scott, feel free to correct me. Uh, lovely bloke. So without further ado, like I say, I don't I do believe nothing of theirs is has been done online, any videos and that. So this is a first, which is quite cool to be able to do that. So without further ado, let's get the beer out and see what we get. It's all bottle conditioned and everything. And I'm actually using uh Pitchfall Kales glass, which is actually RCH Brewery, which is what they were before they went to Pitchfall Kales. So even the glass is local, even if it is maybe a rival, a rival company. So beer in a glass, that looks nice. Dark ale, lovely, hazy, amber colour, finger and half on, of just slightly off white head on top. I'm getting some nice aromas already, smells nice. Uh, looks great, looks just as you'd want to see. So let's try and get a nose in there without spilling it and see what we get. Oh yeah, lovely bit of hop in there, very malty, toffee, a little bit sweet as well. It's got to be said, it smells absolutely belted in all fairness, but the proof is in the taste, so let's see how we get on. Thank you very much, Scott. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Body is above average. Typical sort of ale. They, they tend to be quite sort of thin, but this is above average. You certainly get that bit of weight to it. It is quite carbonated. That is maybe a little bit of a downside. Uh, it, there, there is quite a bit of fizz in there. Mouth is, mouthfeel, even though it's quite carbonated, is quite smooth, soft. Tasting notes, very malty, I can tell you that straight away. You're definitely getting the malt, but it's a sweet malt. Sort of malty, hoppy on the start, back end, that sort of toffee caramel stuff comes in. Mm. That's nice. That's a nice ale, that is. Uh, very different as well. Uh, I'm going to guess it's different because of the hops used in it. But it's certainly, certainly like, not like uh, other ales I've drunk, really. Of 
four and a half percent. Drinking around that, I would say. Certainly isn't any sort of strength in there. Uh, if I had one little criticism of it, when you're first drinking it, certainly with a head on it, it's got a nice body to it. As you get a bit further down, and that head disappears, just on the back end really, just on the back end, excuse me, I wouldn't say watery, but it feels a bit thinner, excuse me again, but I'll tell you what, that's a nice ale, nice ale, and it is different, but again, like I say, it's that bit thinner on the back end, watery, you could, you could sort of say watery, might be being a little bit arsho, but overall, Pinker's Craft Brewery Cabin Fever Dark Ale, very nice indeed, very nice indeed, worth the three quid, yeah, I think, you know, especially being as it's like a little nano brewery, it's husband and wife thing, uh, very nice indeed, plenty of flavour and well worth checking out, so if you're interested in picking one of these up or getting some beers from them uh i'll put the link in to their facebook page you'll have to message them privately i, I believe uh or maybe even email them i think you have to just message them and and see what you can do but uh yeah that is a nice beer really enjoyable uh, and definitely one i would drink again so for me that gets a thumbs up if by any chance somebody out there has happened to have drunk this beer uh let me know what you think Feel free to like and share the video. Hope you've enjoyed this. Something a little bit different. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. If you don't want to, don't. But much appreciated if you do. And that's it for this beer review. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you again on another beer review very soon. Cheers.